What is up guys? It's Jesse here. You guys right here guys. Thank you for tuning in again. So as you guys can see, we have a race car behind us and we just finished recording yesterday's video or the video before. And now we're gonna go ahead and work on this beast. Uh, but for right now, let's do a quick little unboxing. Guys, it's gonna do the unboxing. Damn, fool. Damn, That's a badass shirt. Damn. Damn, so they know you repping that. Woo. What is it, solo performance? Yep. Shit, back here it says mock. Right as individual as you are. It says as individual as you are. We're sitting here. Put tomorrow's, it on right now. Put it tomorrow, on. Tomorrow's technology on today's vehicle. Put it on right now. Rep that shit real hard. Raw American <laughs> muscle. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Straight, yeah, baby. Straight muscle. Oh, let's rock this shit. It's like silky smooth, so it's like if I go for a jog, I won't sweat, but I won't run. Doesn't need to. I look, I look. You look like you're repping real hard. So as you guys can see, there's something related to an exhaust in there. Oh la la. Ooh. Let me see the tip. Let me see the tip. Show me the tip. Here the tips, exhaust. We'll be replacing the OEM. And My that's gonna be replacing this sorry as exhaust. Sorry as exhaust. <laughs> so a uh, little story. This is actually we. I've actually done this before uh, on this car before. So I have a certified mechanic helping me, so I don't have any trouble installing. Right. Mm -hmm. But yeah, guys, that was a quick little unboxing, and then we're gonna start showing you guys how to do it if you have a smart car, because you like you're gonna be watching this video if you have a smart car. We took the plastic trim piece off, which was connected down to here. So the reason we did that is because the new exit exhaust is actually gonna be coming out like literally like right here. And the OEM's just so you right could here. go ahead and trim this up, but I personally don't like this look on there. So I went and trimmed and up. I mean, I don't know if it would look. I don't think I'm too professional to make it look, you know, professional. So it's better off like this. Yeah. But the next step is just to get. Uh, there's actually two bolts holding onto the flange from the header. And then, and then these uh, hangers. A, a, a hidden bolt that it's gonna be a little pain to ask to get, but we'll get it up. All right, guys. So we ended up getting the actual exhaust off. Uh, it ended up being a little pain in the ass, but uh, it was just the location of the bolts weren't really helpful. So it's just about having to squeeze and put yeah, it like your hands in like the smallest little area. They're like a to give you a little, to give you an idea. This is the area that we were working with, so there's not a lot. But uh, the bolts are like the weirdest pattern. Let me go ahead and show and you this. Out of curiosity, guys. Out of curiosity, I'm gonna go with this. So I'll be back. So I want to see how much this is compared to that. This light is too bright. Guesses? Probably like 35 pounds. 40 pounds. Oh. So this is the type of bolt that you get on a smart car. You guys can see it's like a six point star. And what we're working with was, I think these are 12 point, and we ended up resorting to even brake line uh, wrenches. I think they're called double and flare nut wrenches. But yeah. 10? Yep. <laughs> 10 so he, pounds lighter. He's saving 10 pounds by just doing the exhaust. And it's gonna sound way better. Uh, like we said, uh, we already have done one of these, so we know exactly how it sounds. But now we're gonna turn it on with the open header. For shits and giggles, we're gonna go ahead and turn it on. Like. Oh, this is gonna be nasty, lad. Hope it don't catch fire. Keep an eye on it. Yeah.
guys. So we just gave you a quick little, Cupcakes. what it sounded like, open header. But uh, right now we're gonna food? we're gonna go get some food because uh, I want, actually want to hear how my exhaust sounds on the Cadillac, or I mean the intake, should I say? What is up, guys? So we ended up finishing the exhaust. Gus is out here. <laughs> Bless you. He's having a photo shoot back here. So as you guys can see, all the lights are off, but he does have a light down here. And he's over here taking pictures, but if you guys can see, the, the exhaust is installed. It was a lot easier to install than it was to remove, just because the bolts are kind of in an awkward position. But I will include a little startup once we get this on the ground. For right now, we're going to start cleaning up our mess because we resorted to a bunch of tools just to be able to get this off, but... We're going to install the radio. Oh yeah, true. We got to do that too. Well, it's because, you know, I'm taking pictures with my brand new iPhone 10. Shout out to Apple. And, uh, well, I don't have an aux, so I had to buy a Bluetooth for the car because this is my daily. So, I like to listen to music. So, I'm getting a radio, so I'm going to install that real quick. He already did on his, so it should be pretty easy. The exhaust was just the hard part. So, hopefully it sounds good. <clears throat> so, to furthermore finalize, I mean, finalize this little smart makeover uh, we're gonna go ahead and install a stereo uh, to basically install a stereo in a redesigned 451 uh, all you do is remove this panel right here where is uh, the emergency it goes it goes like this so all you do is pry it out there's two clips right here you pry it out and then you remove this clip all you do is the clip would normally go on like so as you guys can see it came on but you just go like that and it pops right out. After that, there's a Torx bit, a 25, size 25 behind there. After that, you're actually gonna go ahead and just pry this on the sides as so, and that comes off just like that. And I think you have to kind of finagle this to, for it to come out. And then that comes out, and then you're left with more uh, 25 Torx bits, uh, two right Where here. Where he's putting his finger. plus yeah so after those torque bits are removed you simply remove this so you can see how big this is it's quite large it's a big pocket and then after that you're for you, you face another 225 torque bits and you remove those you remove those 225s push it down and it comes right out it's like it's put on it's right here so, so you what? just pull it down you just simply pull it down and it comes right out like so and then you have a few connections back here it's like the normal connections this is the radio you have another one sitting over there another stock one yep and now You're it's the, the fun part of actually wiring it so if the wiring is quite simple if you've ever done a radio it should be almost identical but uh there is a little tip all right guys so if you're doing a radio on your own car a smart car a little tip uh so if you already wired everything up and you tried actually turning it on if you wired every single wire from the the new harness to the the radio harness uh, you will note that the actual radio did not turn on and that's because um, the way this harness is set up you actually have to run a wire off from the actual radio harness run an extra wire that I took personally out of my own prelude my spare prelude and I just simply cut it out of the harness just and then you wire run it really you run it to the actual it, the uh, what would this be called? That's the lighter? Cigarette lighter? The cigarette lighter? Technically it's not a cigarette lighter for this no, car, but true, yeah. it is like a power outlet. And uh, when I initially did it on my own smart car, I did note that I tried wiring the hot to this because it was closer to a red color. And I did note that it, it, it didn't turn on, so I actually ended up having to splice into this green wire because I noted that this was the actual hot wire. You guys can see here it's hot i have this on the ground yeah so, we tried on the other one it doesn't like so so like you guys can try here this is the hot one 
and this will be the other ground which is the brown one but that's just a little tip all right guys so as you guys can see the car is back put together and to show you guys that it does work i'll turn it on right here so it works um everything's put back together so we're gonna go ahead and actually do a cold start to the exhaust because we have yet to actually um turn it on so that's gonna be quite loud guys so you guys can see uh the exhaust note is way better uh, way better yeah yeah, yeah. So i'm excited we, we didn't actually show you guys uh before and after but uh before it was quiet so it was, no point. there was nothing to really show before but now it has a little rumble to it and later in the future we're actually going to be doing something else to it and it'll make it even louder but um that's for the future and you guys will just have to stay around the to see those but we haven't really spoken about these cars too much just because there's not a lot of uh, like passionate car lovers around these cars so we haven't really spoken about them too much but we might make a video about them like really going in depth uh, what we've done to them we this actually is a do cool have two. story behind you know this one yeah this, general, that this I was didn't. actually quite 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 rare but that's for another story but right now we're just gonna go to sleep it's quite late already and it's at home hella cold thank jesse for his help <laughs> i knew what what had to be done so he knew what route to take so you know <laughs> but yeah guys thank, thank you for watching see you guys next time